Hello Hattrickers, welcome to episode 72 of Let's Play Hattrick in San Marino with Inter Calvajo. Good news, we've signed a new winger, hoping for another one to come this week as well. We've played a league game against our eternal rival Steenhoy, and we've had a few good pops in the training already, so let's just get started. So on Sunday evening we did do a live scouts call during the stream, so uh, let's just take a look how that went. Kind of a rare occasion for us to do a live scouts call, but um, we'll do so right now. Giorgio Bolini has for us. 15 years old, all round inadequate. We going with this guy? Yeah, we'll hope for um, for spec as well. And as you can see, we did find Celso Ciccioli here, and he has a potential of passable scoring. So hopefully we can pair him up with one of the other guys and uh, find something special here, because as you guys already know, we are on a tight budget and we could use every extra little penny we can absolutely make during the cycle. Yeah, in any way, really. Why don't we take a look at the senior training? So in the senior training department, we had two very nice pops. We had Sonocci popping from outstanding to brilliant and Francioni as well, outstanding to brilliant. So let's just take a look at Sonocci here. He's starting to look like a decent player and perhaps we'll see him called upon for the under 20 once sometime soon. I really hope so, but uh, you can never be too sure about that. Let's take a look at Francioni as well. He's pretty close as well. 2067, as she right now. 20 years, 53 days. He's uh, starting to look decent as well, to say the least. And if you look at all these recommended positions, he's now performing just as well in the middle of the park as in the central defense. Very nice to see. During the midweek, we played in the Copa Sesta, and I was actually a little surprised to see us only winning by one goal. Football club Marinitas were the opponents in this one, and um, we did win, and that's very nice to be through to the next round if we look at the ratings though you can see that we had some luck hitting the left side on the attack certainly we were the favorites for this one and i'm fairly pleased to have won this game we do have a new winger to present, Nikolai Belgiogano, and uh, fairly talented. We found him in the Danish club called the Lillevangskipne, a guy I play against in my Danish league with the primary team, and we knew that he was training wingers because he was also doing a bake arrangement for my primary team. We also played a league match against the Unknowns, and we did actually see Nikolai get his full debut on Sunday evening, and unfortunately for him, he did miss one, two three, four chances totally. It was a ball draw and you can definitely tell why because the chances to score on regular chances in this one was pretty slow all around. So one point, a draw, nil-nil against the unknowns. In the league, that leaves us in fourth. We have five points up to Berlin United and Mamande already. It's quite clear that we'll be fighting for the scraps here and hopefully we can do enough to secure a third place again. But um, certainly it will be a, a bit more of a challenge than usually. Next round, we are up against Berlin United so that'll be a tough task. Hopefully we can uh, get a point, but it is quite clear that at this moment we will have to look at the possibilities of adding a few strikers if we want to compete a little in the league because it's getting tougher. I'll have to be honest about that. Our rivals will be playing the bots, AC Vim Solomfri, and if you look at the BKS Union Police, they will have a tough matchup against FC Mamante, the leaders of the pack. The unknowns play Lokomotiv Latendi. Hopefully we'll be able to get through the next round without losing too much ground because early in the way will be a very tough task. It's been really hard recruiting wingers and uh, I I am looking at one more. Hopefully, I'll be able to sign him before the end of the week. I'll have to admit, signing wingers half-baked for the cycle has been even more complicated than what I had thought when I did the initial bake plans. And failing to plan here is planning to fail. If you are doing a cycle on your own, I can only recommend being on top of your bake plans. Anyway, that's all for this week. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Have a great week in Hattrick. Take care.